Here's something that should strike fear into most people. The Swiss government arranged for UBS to buy Credit Suisse for $3.2 billion. This is a 60% discount to the troubled bank's market value on Friday. No, that's not the part that should strike fear. The part that should frighten people is that a multi-billion dollar company that is listed in both Zurich and New York with shareholders worldwide changed ownership without shareholders getting a vote. Ordinarily, when a company is acquired, the shareholders get a say. They can either accept or reject a deal. Rejection usually means that the suitor sweetens the deal, and it also signals other possible suitors that it's time to submit a proposal of their own. Even in the case of bankruptcy, the equity holders usually get some say. When a company is in need of reorganization, a plan is submitted to a court system, and the stakeholders, both bondholders and equity holders, get to either approve the plan or reject the plan. Usually approval will happen after a fair amount of iteration, iteration that ensures that the most fair deal is struck. Failure to accept the deal usually results in a liquidation, where senior creditors are paid from proceeds of liquidation and shareholders get whatever is left, if anything. But now, with little deliberation, with the strike of a pen, the Swiss government changed the law and eliminated shareholder rights. This is a very, very serious act. I would suggest thinking long and hard before buying shares in any Swiss company. I would think long and hard about doing business with a Swiss company. I would also think long and hard before storing any assets in Switzerland. I'll probably have more to say on the Credit Suisse failure at some point in the future, but these are my thoughts right now, and I thought I'd share them with you.